So I'd literally go from one end to the gym all the way to the other end of the gym. So I get called all sorts of names in the gym doing this. They might look stupid, but when I'm lifting the biggest weights in the gym, I care. <laughs> so that's the first exercise I'll do. Then afterwards, I'll just basically do a simple step forward, taking relatively big steps, and then step backwards. I'm always paranoid what's behind me when I do that one. And that helps fire the glutes. Does anyone have problems uh, when they squat with their knees caving in? Yeah. So I'd, I'd normally do this to begin the workout as well. You just sit on the bench. Depending on how wide you have your socks and your squat, I'd bring my feet out, probably to about my squat stance, and then push the band out. This band's quite a hot, lot higher tension, a bit smaller than one I normally use, so I can't push my knees out as far. And that'll activate the muscles around the hips to keep your knees out as well. Um, for me, when I'm trained up, I hold the highest records for basically a, um, a raw squat and just belt and knee sleeves. I used this band probably, probably for about six weeks before I went to the record and I had a significant difference in how much my knees travelled in. If any of you have seen my sort of earlier squat videos compared to now, my knees travel in a lot less. And one of the reasons is I'm um, using the band to warm up. So I'll probably just hold that and I'll probably do three sets of 30 second holds. So if you bring the band up a little bit higher, just above me. Getting his pants on. In <laughs> <laughs> and for me, what I've always found, for me, this is the best way of warming up and getting myself prepared for the squat. <laughs> 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 